so Tulip is all dry now and fluffy. I use the force dryer, which is like this uh, high velocity air dryer for the body on very low setting, the lowest setting possible. She still kind of freaked out a little bit, it spooked her. So for her head, I just went and used the hand dryer, the regular handheld dryer for her head so she doesn't get too spooked. Oh my god, she feels so soft and fluffy. Wow! <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> so today, um, you know, we were, the agreement was that, you know, I'll just come and wash her and trim her up, just shape her up a little bit. So I was planning on just, you know, doing some light scissor work, but honestly, it saves a lot of time just to go ahead and do the clippers with the comb guard. It's just a easy, quick and easy way to get all the hair even, and, you know, about the same length. So rather than go through with the scissors on the whole body, you know, this is actually going to be faster. So even though I wasn't planning on doing like a full body haircut, um, just to shape her up, I think this will be much better. Leroy, oh my, that's a different dog. You're right. Oh my goodness. Isn't she a different dog? Oh, thank you, Alan Powell. Did nothing wrong. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> what you call it? At this point, once I get to the point where I'm doing the haircut, everything else is done. So her nails are filed already. I filed them as soon as we got out the, the, the tub. So filed the nails. Her teeth are brushed. Her ears are clean. Everything is done. Now we just need to do the haircut. So I'm just going to see if I can get her to stand a little bit. There you go. Oh, this is it. I was actually looking at her. I think she's a dachshund mix. Look at her, how small, short, and st <laughs> I think she's a dachshund mix. A dachshund and a Bichon mix. And that would explain her feet on um, her front legs being bow legs. You know, the bow legged front feet. You know, because the dachshunds use it to dig. So I think she's a dachshund mix. Anyways, let me see if I can lower this a little bit. So we can get a little bit more eye level. There we go. Okay, there we go, okay, there we go. So I chose an Ocon, which is a 5 8 inch over a 30 blade, just to give her a nice shape, just to kind of tame the wild hairs and give her a nice little shape. I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible, just because, you know, it's her first time to affect the haircut like I normally would with a regular client. <laughs> just because she is older, I mean, I don't know, you guys be the judge, doesn't she look older, like, judging by her eyes? Let me see, see? you can see, like, her eyes, the, it's kind of gray in the middle there, I don't know. See that, doesn't she look older and frail? I don't know, maybe she's two years old. She just had an incredibly difficult life, you know? <laughs> maybe she's two, I don't know. But just the way she moves, the way she feels, um, my guess is that she's an older dog. There you go. So she's already been through a lot. So I'm just gonna try to give her a nice little shape here as quickly as possible, following the angles, following the natural angles of the dog.
<coughs> so now that we have our whole body to clip down with that comb, <coughs> I'm gonna do her. And you know what? I'm not even gonna go down her legs. There's no point. This isn't really gonna take much off. But I am gonna go through and round out her head with this comb here. So this is about two times as long as the body. And I like to do that. I like to do go a little bit longer, about twice as long on the on the legs and the head than on the body. So this O comb is what we use on the body, five eighths of an inch, or 16 millimeters. Right? This one is 22 millimeters. So six. So not twice as long, but you get the point. Right? So this is much longer. So two sizes up, I would I would say. Um, so there's the O comb, the A comb, the C comb. So this is like two sizes up. If you're looking with, if you're working with plastic comb guards, there's also a B comb, but not with these metal comb guards. Anyways, what I like to do is go about two sizes longer than I used on the body, and then use that longer comb guard to shape the head and legs. The legs, I don't have to. I'm just gonna scissor it with scissors. But the head, here's a little trick. You wanna go, backwards then forwards on the top and then round it check this out okay check this out so we go forward and i wouldn't do this normally on a bijan head but, you know, her head was came already kind of puffy and there was like no neck, you know. So I'm just going to round it into a nice little pup, round puppy head, like a teddy bear head. And so, rather than a Bichon head. But it's similar. So there we go. So we go forwards and backwards. Two sizes longer than on the body, right? Then you lift the ear up, go this way. That's gonna set your length for the bottom of the chin. Whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Same thing for this side. So you lift up the ear. And this is where you can get bit. This is where I usually get bit when I continue to ask the dog to do something that they're telling me that they don't want to do. Then sometimes they go ahead and start biting after a while. And that's okay. I totally understand. And I, I let the dog know that I understand by letting them bite me. And then sometimes I'll even say like, ow, you know. Of course, if they really attack, then I'll, then I'll correct that. Oh, shoot. There we go. There we go. So I think that's about as good as we're going to get on the bottom of the chin there. Without having her full, flip over again. <clears throat> so now that we got her length pretty much all set with the clippers, now I'm going to go with the scissors and just shape everything up. Okay. Thinners and my curves. So first my thinners. I'm going to go ahead and use this to shape up the eyes here, in between the eyes. So comb that up. Create that diagonal, 45 degree angle from the eyes. There we go. So clear the eyes. side. Okay. 
So now just to clean this up, I'm going to go ahead and comb that up. All right, and then everything that covers the eye, I'm just going to clip away with my thinners. There we go. See your eyes nice and beautiful. <coughs> okay, so now let me take this power cord off here. It's getting my way. All right, I don't think we're gonna run out of batteries at this point since we're just finishing up. Okay, so now that we have right in front of the eyes clipped, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the visor nice and round. I just saw hair sticking out. <laughs> Rounded ear, and then I'll round that other side.
you know, around. <coughs> okay, so now I'm going to have to bring out a little bit thicker blenders. to blend all this down to make the lines much softer and round. There we go. Oh my goodness, such a cutie. Does anybody else get excited when while they work, like when they start seeing the haircut starting to take shape? They start seeing the finished product, they're like, oh snap, you're starting to look so cute. I mean, I do try to do a nice haircut, you know. <clears throat> I try not to stress too much about it like I used to, but I do try my best to do a nice haircut because I don't want anybody to look at the haircut that I do and say, that's why he focuses on the skin, you know. <laughs> I don't want anybody to think I'm using the skincare uh, shtick <laughs> as an excuse, you know, to not be able to do nice haircuts. You know, I want somebody to be like, you see? If I did haircuts like that, I'd focus on the skin too, you know? I don't want anybody talking smack like that. <laughs> so, and also the haircut is what everybody looks at, you know? It's what we can see. Can't really see all the skincare work that I did, you know? It's all under the coat. It's all under the surface. There we go. So, because the haircut is what everyone sees, it's what everyone focuses on. You know, I do try to do a nice haircut. There we go, look at that head. Oh, what's this girl? Look over here, oh! <coughs> Isn't she so cute? All right, so there, there we go. Nice little round head, look at that. I wanna keep this chin fluffy, right? So anyways, oh, there we go. Oh, it's a little bit too fluffy, let me see. There we go. That really looks adorable. <laughs> Now let's do those feet and you're all done. <coughs> so I'm going to see if I can scissor her feet while she's laying down here. Can't believe we're finding more knots. Okay. There we go. How about you just lay down there and you let me do all the work, girl. Okay.
I used to have a Bichon. <coughs> name was Max. I think his name was Max. Now that it was a long time ago, but anyways, he used to come to our Chambly house, and I think he was like 18 years old. And every single time I groomed him, um, the mom would tell me, you know, it's okay if he dies. Just let me know what happened, you know. And she's like, it's not your fault. Everyone's expecting it, you know. Like every single time, I groomed him. Um, it was like we all kind of knew that there's a good chance he might die and it was just so nerve-wracking for me but um, luckily he never died <laughs> he passed away um, you know in his sleep thank God but yeah um, every time he came he would sleep like this he would just pass out and then I would just groom him while he would lay down like this and it wasn't the greatest groom <laughs> but it was functional and it worked and at least he was comfortable you know the whole time and he likes coming and getting groomed yeah and, and you know good thing I was lucky he never died on me well he didn't die on me <laughs> not never <laughs> he died on me two times but only twice <laughs> no he never died he didn't die on me but yeah I really think that it's because you know just I try. I really tried to make sure he was comfortable, you know, and just if he wanted to lay down and I didn't need, I didn't absolutely need him to be up, standing up, like obviously it would help, you know, but if, if it's not absolutely necessary, then, you know, I just let him lay down and I just kind of worked around it and did the haircut around him laying down like this. <laughs> so I've gotten pretty good at it. This is not my first rodeo. Okay. Because it's hard to tell what it's gonna look like once he stand once they stand up. But you know, after you do this for a while, you can kind of tell which hairs need to be clipped. There we go. So we got both of the front feet. There we go. Let's do the back feet now. I can tidy this up a little bit. There we go. Good girl, Tula. You're such a good girl. She's passed out. <laughs> she is passed out. My goal was to give her a relaxing experience today, so. Man, when I had her in the shower, I held her up against my chest, and it was just so, oh my God, so sweet. The way she just rests her head on my chest and my shoulders, like, oh my God, she's just so sweet. give her a nice massage in there you know while, while the shampoo sat because a uh, little tip you want the shampoo to sit for at least five to ten minutes the longer the better because well up to 20 minutes is good but then after 30 minutes it starts to dry out the skin you know kind of how we our hands prune when we when we stay in the pool too long <clears throat> so up to 20 minutes is good after 30 minutes is not good, but I'm not saying to soak them for 20 minutes. I mean, that might be a little excessive, but you know, five to 10 minutes is good. Gives the shampoo time to work, do what it was designed to do. That contact time is what's so important. But anyways, while the shampoo was doing its thing, I went ahead and gave her a little massage, brushed her teeth. She did great for that too. Okay, let's go ahead and do this last bit here. So again, like I was saying in the other video, the last stream when I was getting her ready for the bath, 
you know, I try not to think of things in terms of right or wrong anymore. Oh, is this the right, right way to groom a dog with the dog laying down? Probably not, you know, but I don't want to think of it as right or wrong, even though this might not be the technically correct way to groom a dog's feet, uh, back foot, <laughs> you know, is it, is it working? Yeah, it works. You know, is it the best thing for this dog? I don't know. I don't know for sure if this is the best thing for this dog. Maybe it would be better to have her stand up for a moment. I don't know. But in my heart, I feel like, you know, why not? Why not just let her relax and enjoy it? So I may be wrong about this. And I'm, I'm fully aware of that. I accept that. You know, but I don't think I am. That's the thing. <laughs> I don't think I'm wrong. <clears throat> and the moment I, believe, I, I, I feel like, whoa, maybe I am wrong, then of course I'm willing to change. But, you know, I, I just, you know, I, I don't feel like it's important for me to be right, but I do feel like it's important for, to, for me to do what I believe is right, right? So it's, I actually, um, it used to really bug me. It used to really be tough for me to like find out that I was wrong about something I thought I was right about. Ugh, you know, it's embarrassing. Now I actually love it. I actually look forward to it. I realize that's what makes scientists so great is because they, you know, they look to be wrong. They, they want to find out how they're wrong, right? And that's how they grow. And that's how we uh, find out new th things and, you know, advance. So anyways, <laughs> oh, mwah. Mwah. Love. I'm going to have her stand just for a little bit though, because I'm going to see if I can round out her feet a little bit better with the thinning shears now that I got the shape with the scissors. Good girl. <laughs> She's like, what? What's going on? Turn down the lights. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Just want to make sure the feet are nice and round and shaped up. There we go. Again, I'm not trying to go for perfect, but I am just trying to make sure that I want her to look nice. So now what I'm going to do is, with my thinning, thinning shears here, I'm going to go through and just round it out. So she has nice little round feet. Not only does it look really cute when it's nice and round, but it also stays cleaner when you got it nice and rounded and right up against the nails. When she goes and run out, run, runs around outside when it's wet, the, her feet will stay cleaner because the hair is nice and short right around the foot. trying to tidy up the front legs. 
This one's a little bit weird because it's uh, folded into an L here. So it makes it a little bit awkward. Because I don't want to cut her by accident, you know, cause her pain. Well, wow, we did really good though today. My goodness. So we got a dog that was shaking in the corner of her kennel, um, wouldn't even look at me, to now giving me kisses. Oh, and she's all done. Look at that. And she's all soft. Look at these soft little feet. Oh, look at how soft she is. Wow, isn't she lovely? <laughs> Okay, there we go. Beautiful girl. Oh, man. Okay. All right, so I guess that's it. Any questions? Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, Lee, yes, I see the dachshund in her. Yeah, I think, I think she's mixed with the dachshund. Um, Lullaby, Lulu, are the teeth in good shape? The teeth are in great shape. I brushed her teeth even. Look at that. So that's what I'm saying. Looking at her teeth and seeing how healthy she is, I'm thinking, what if she's actually only a year old? You know, she just had a really tough life. <laughs> you know? Uh, Joanne says, she seems to love this kind of treatment. More of the medical doctors should be more like you. Thanks. Oh, thank you. The mama Janet, the mama's back. Um, my little guy is much better with scissors. Mm hmm She is beautiful. Isn't she? Oh my goodness, isn't she so beautiful? Oh my god, you are so beautiful. Look at the camera, girl. Okay. Um, lullaby, she is. I could just stare into those eyes. Yeah, I know. Oh. And the little tongue. Oh. Okay. Um, she has a real, just knew what a beauty she is in her. She is so cute. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at her. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. So Valerie says, I'm in the next room on pins and needles. Wanting to see my, oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. So she is all done, Valerie. Let me let her down. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Jean. This was touching. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Joanne. Debbie, Jack. Oh. Okay, let me go ahead and get her back to her mama. See you guys. <laughs>